So today's video we're going to be talking red lips or festive red lips because the kind of holiday season is the best time to be sporting a red lip. It feels very Christmassy and it's the time where if you ever were to wear a red lip now is the time you'd feel the most comfortable doing so. I feel really comfortable wearing bright lipstick because I feel like it suits me better. My lips are a better feature on my face than my eyes. I've got quite small eyes so I prefer to wear a stronger lip um, and it's a really nice excuse to do so in the winter because I feel like you can get away with wearing more makeup in the winter in general. So I'm going to talk you through a couple of different products and some tips and tricks on wearing a successful bright lip. Now the first thing you need to do is you really need to make sure your lips are in tip top condition. You can't have kind of dry flaky lips and wear a bold red lip because it just won't work. So you want to make sure you scrub your lips. Now I know that loads of companies do kind of lip scrubs, lush and that kind of thing and they are really nice but the kind of old trick of using a dry toothbrush and brushing it over your lips works a treat for me. It'll get rid of any dry bits or applying a thick layer of lip balm and then pushing a Q-tip all over your lips gets rid of any kind of um, jagged bits of skin that you might have there but you do want to apply a really really intense lip balm. My favourite two lip balms in the world are the NYX Rev de Miel lip balm which is a very infamous um, lip balm in the blogging world. This is what it looks like. Love, love, love this. It's a very kind of thick consistency, almost matte and it just feels amazing. I put this on every night before I go to bed and in the morning when I wake up it's still on my lips. It's that intense and moisturising. I love it. And then the other one that I love is the Lanolips Lemon Aid um, with Organic Lemon Oil. And this is really nice because it's slightly exfoliating as well because of the lemon acid in it. So it really smooths your lips over. And make sure you've applied a generous amount, let it sink in for a little bit and then kind of remove any excess so you've got a nice smooth canvas to work with. Then you need to kind of have a little think about how you want to apply your lipstick. And this is very, very important because I feel like with red lips you have to apply it with a lip brush. I have got a little tutorial for you that you'll see soon with um, me applying it with a brush. But using a lip brush, whatever lip brush you want, I think in this particular tutorial I'm using the Real Techniques Detailer brush. But any brush like that is key. You can't really apply it neatly without wearing, without using a brush. That's very, very important. Then you want to think about the colour selection because not every red um, is made equal and not every colour is going to suit everyone. I feel like the kind of um, reds that have a little bit more pink in them suit much cooler, paler skin tones and kind of more warm reds and orangey reds suit darker skin tones. So I like to kind of use both according to my skin tone at that time. Today I'm wearing Soap and Glory's um, Man Trap which I really like. But I've got a couple of kind of options right here for you. So I'll start with the kind of budget options first. And I've got a, a couple of really, really nice options here. The first one is by MUA, and this is a really nice lipstick. It's one pound, and you can't go wrong if you want to just try and experiment and see how you feel about it. Apply it, walk around the house, look at yourself, take a photo maybe, see how you feel about it, and then you can decide whether or not you feel comfortable enough to go out wearing this type of lip. So this is the colour and it's just a very very true kind of bright red. It swatches really nicely. I'll swatch it here for you. My hand's going to look crazy. But that's what it looks like. A very very pretty bright red that's flattering on loads of different skin tones. You do need to kind of blot with this but I do that with every red lipstick I wear just because I feel like the matte of the lipstick the longer it's going to last and the less bleeding you're going to get and I hate that when your lipstick kind of moves around your face. It just looks really terrible. So that's something that you want to bear in mind. Then another great budget option is this one by L'Oreal and it's one of their um, colour riche ones and it's in Red Passion. And this is a very, very cool toned, cool toned red. It looks kind of deeper than it is, I think. But swatched right here, you'll see, it's a very kind of um, cool toned red. A little bit darker than the MUA one and a little bit more pigmented, but very, very similar and really lovely. That one's got a little bit of shimmer in as well, so it kind of is very festive. Then I've got two Revlon ones and well the first one is the kind of infamous Revlon red which is just your kind of classic true red colour. Looks like this. I love the packaging of these Revlon lipsticks. It's just so vintage looking. And this is very very pretty. It's very creamy, applies beautifully, does need to be swatched because it's not the most um, matte formula. I think it's one of their lustrous lipstick so it is kind of more moisturising but very very nice and a very popular shade with a lot of people. 
And then if you want to wear a red lip but you're not feeling very comfortable with it and you want to kind of ease your way into it, I've got a couple of really nice options here. The first one is this Revlon Lip Butter and this is called Candy Apple. And it looks very scary and bright here, but once you swatch it, you'll see it's very sheer and just a kind of pretty balm texture. So you can wear it and you don't feel overdone. It's a very nice daytime red. And if you feel self-conscious about wearing a red lip, something like this might kind of ease you into it and make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Then I've also got two red lip glosses. And these types of lip glosses tend to be very pigmented, so you still got the kind of red color payoff, but it's not as intimidating. And I've got this one by Miners, which is called, um, what is this called? The Miners, oh, Man Material Girl. And it's this kind of bright pinky red. And then this True Red, which is Revlon Red's um, lip gloss version. Very, very pretty, very pigmented, and I love the applicator of these. But my all-time favourite red ever has to go to MAC. I think they do some fantastic, fantastic red shades. And it is a brand that I would look to buy those types of colours from. And this was part of the Marilyn Monroe collection. And I love this. I think the packaging is beautiful. And it's Scarlet Abyss. And this is just the perfect shade on me because it's a kind of fiery orangey red that's very, very matte. It stays put beautifully and it just works amazingly. It's my favourite, favourite red lipstick ever. And I'm, I'll swatch it here for you and you'll see the kind of difference. It's much, much warmer and it's got kind of more orangey tone to it. I love that because it suits my complexion a little bit better. But also, you want to kind of go for a more matte lipstick if you're wearing a red lip and you're worried about it moving around because most red lipsticks tend to kind of be quite moisturising and then you get that kind of paranoid feeling that your lipstick's on your teeth and your lipstick's moving around and that kind of thing so very very important to make sure you're checking the formula as well but those are my top tips and picks on wearing a festive red lip i hope you found this helpful if um you've got any other recommendations that you love that would be really fantastic and i'm going to insert the footage now of me applying a red lip with a lip brush just to show you how easy it actually is in case you were unfamiliar with it and you were shying away from wearing it because you felt it was too messy doing it with the lip brush method is really really helpful so i hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and i will see you in my next so video. i'm gonna start off by applying it with a brush now you could kind of go for the whole lip liner thing first but i just don't find that that's necessary because if you do it with a lip brush it works just as well i'm gonna use the soap and glory lipstick in man trap which is this kind of slightly darker red more of a wintry red and the real technique detailer brush and i'm just gonna get some product onto my brush. So kind of really saturate the brush and really get a lot of color payoff. My lips are already moisturized. And then you just want to start at the center and you want to first kind of trace the shape of your lips and then you can go in and fill it in. You really want to get the shape perfect for this type of look because the color is so strong, you will get um, any kind of smudging and everything showing much more than if you just wore a kind of nude lipstick. So, I like to start off drawing a little line in my cupid's bow and then working outwards. So you just kind of want to trace the outline of your lips. You will look like a complete crazy person, but once you fill it in, it's fine. So that's kind of the top look done. You wanna make sure you've got all the little corners and everything, and it will look kind of weird at first, but the longer you've done it, the more used to it you'll get, and it is really easy once you get used to it. Keep kind of applying it. You don't wanna get any dryness on the brush. When doing your bottom lip, kind of slightly stretch it out when you're doing it. I can't talk and do it at the same time, obviously, but I've got a big magnifying mirror here that I'm looking at. And you can just really draw in the shape of your lips. Now, my bottom lips are kind of a bit uneven anyway, so it's more difficult. And then you can go in and start applying it onto the entire lip. Now, once you've done this once,
So you've got this amount of coverage. You can then go in with the lipstick and apply it all over normally because you've kind of already got the base there, but really concentrate it into the middle. So go like this. And then you can really start to kind of um, even that out with the brush. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Now with this type of kind of uh, moisturising lipstick, I would blot, so just take a little piece of tissue, blot it on and then reapply another layer and you should be good to go. It will come off, it's not gonna stay perfectly um, and it will kind of leave marks on your glass and that kind of thing, but it is a really, really easy way to wear a red lip without it being too intimidating and making it last longer as well and also just looking very, very Christmassy and very glam.